Matt Hall here with Rudy Williams, Kansas State signee out of Northeastern Oklahoma. Rudy, you've given us a lot of time. You've given Flanders time. I'll tell the, the watchers I messed up, didn't record our first interview, so this is trial two for us. Thank you for your time. And how are you doing these days, man? Uh, honestly, you know, I've been fine. You know, just trying to stay safe and, you know, just do the right stuff that, you know, keep me and my family safe. Of course. So we can get back to living a normal life. Well, thanks again. I know you and Grant discussed this once, and so have I, you know, with you already one time. Um, but when did you first hear, you know, from K-State, and what were those early conversations with K-State's coaching staff like for you? Uh, I heard about – I heard from K-State about three weeks ago, and it was really late in my recruiting process. I was getting ready to narrow down my list and make a top five and just focus on those schools. But I received a Twitter message from Coach Lowry, and um, – you know, we talked for a little bit, and then he just asked me if I committed to a school. Right. And I told him no, and then he asked me if, like, it was too late for them to jump in the mix. So I told him, you know, it's not too late because you have to consider a school like Kansas State. You know, it's a legit program. So then once we agreed on mutual interest, uh, he just passed the torch to Coach Weber, and then he took off with the recruiting. Makes a lot of sense. In those conversations, of course, with Coach Lowry, then Coach Weber, what are the main things you felt like they were really trying to learn about you when they were trying to decide who, who they wanted to take with this scholarship? Uh, I feel like they wanted to learn mostly if I could guard because, you know, at my junior college, we play a lot of 2-3 zone. Right. We're the Syracuse of Juco basketball at NEO. So they wanted to know if I could guard because there's no film on that. So, you know, I made a promise to Coach, Coach Weber that I'm going to give my all on that side of the ball and, you know, I'm going to have to earn the trust from my teammates and the staff that, you know, I could play defense. That's something I really wanted to ask you about too, because that came up when coach Weber spoke to the media about you, I think on Wednesday, and he referenced the same things you did. Obviously you played a lot of two, three there. Uh, your coach at junior college praised your ability to guard your AU coach does. He believes you can, and you just said it, but is that a challenge to come in with that stereotype of two, three zone, you know, junior college point guard to really prove that you're uh, able to guard man to man at the big 12 level? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have something to prove, like, the moment I get on campus, you know, I'm going to have to gain my teammates' trust, gain my coaching staff's trust, and, you know, I kind of just want to show the country that I can guard and, you know, it's not going to be an issue. You know, we talked about what K-State wanted to learn about you. If we flip that around, what did you want to learn about K-State um, before you were comfortable making, you know, a decision to join this program? Uh, I really just wanted to learn the culture and all what it took to be like you know a Kansas State men's basketball player and what it took to play at that level you know they play in the Big 12 which is arguably the best conference in college basketball so you know I've been doing a lot of film film sessions and you know watching a lot of their previous teams to see like exactly the standard that you know what I how hard I have to play what I got to do to have success at that level and everything like that. I have one more question about your recruitment, then I'm moving more to, you know, basketball stuff. At the end of this process or towards the end, what schools uh, were you really considering? And then how did you let K-State know the decision and what was their reaction when they heard the news? Um, schools I was considering in my recruiting process late were I was at Arizona State, Murray State, uh, Memphis, Central Florida, New Mexico, and Northern Kentucky. And then when and, you let K-State know, how did they react and what did they feel about your decision? Uh, it was about, it was a conversation between me and Coach Weber and he was like giving me the proposition. He was like, look, if we do this, da da da, da and are you going to be on board? And I was like, mm, yeah. <laughs> and I went back to my circle, like my coaches and everyone that I trust. And I was like, okay, this is something we're going to have to do. You know, it seems like a good situation and I could, you know, see myself having success here. So then. We just went about it like that. You know, going back to you as a player, if people look at your stats at NEO, I mean, you stuffed the sheet. I think it was over 21 a game. You shot better than 50% from the floor, like 36 from three, over 80 from the foul line, uh, over nine assists a game. I think number one in the country, junior college assists, over six boards. When you look at those stats, someone says, well, he's, he's good at everything. If you were to narrow it down for a fan, a K-State fan, what are some of your biggest strengths and biggest things you can bring to the K-State roster? Uh, some of my biggest strengths on the court would be you know, setting my guys up, my teammates, making life easier for them, you know, making plays for my shooters, making plays for my big men, you know. And then what I'll bring is, you know, energy, excitement, and I feel like I'll bring versatility on the offensive side, you know, because you know, I feel like I can pass and make plays, but I feel like I can also score, score in bunches and create shots for myself. 
physically, you know, listed at 6'3", you're a little bit bigger for a point guard. And Coach Weber mentioned, I bet three or four times on Wednesday, that he usually sees pictures of you with your shirt off and you're really, really put together. I'm curious, is like, is that, I've seen the pictures too. Is that physique, is that God-given? Or do you spend tons of time in the weight room? And have you heard from Ben O'Donnell and K-State strength staff yet? Uh, no, it is definitely not God-given. <laughs> um, up to my senior year in high school, I was probably 150 pounds. So wow. when I got to Northeastern Oklahoma, we just, you know, kind of lived in the weight room. Our preseasons are pretty hectic. We go about four days a week in the weight room. So my freshman year of junior college, I gained 20 pounds. So, you know, it, it's taken a lot of work and yeah. you know, I still got a little bit of a way to go. And I, I did speak to Ben this <laughs> week on the phone yeah. and I told him I need him to give me about 10 pounds. So I could be ready for the big 12. So absolutely. And if you uh, added, talking a little bit. If you added 10 of muscle, what roughly would you weigh at that point? Uh, I'd weigh about 185, 187, that range, so which I feel like is good weight. So to see you right now, if you're on one, you know, 180, 175, you're, you're, uh, you're very lean right now. Would that be fair to say? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I won't say it, but you can say it. Okay. Well, I did. I, I've seen it. You really are. So I don't know if you've seen a lot of this, but what are your impressions of the rest of the class? You know, even before you, this was a top 15 recruiting class. Um, have you had a chance to look at some of those guys and just thoughts on their games, if you have any? Uh, yeah, to be honest, when, um, when I was starting to seriously see myself going to K-State and committing there, I, I watched film on all the guys, all the guys coming in, and I've watched a lot of film on uh, the, the last year's team. So yeah. I kind of know who I'm going to come in and play with. And honestly, this recruiting class is talented. I feel like the staff has done a good job of getting all the right pieces that they need to have success and bringing them in to mesh with the returning guys. So, you know, all, I think it's six of us. All six uh, of us are. Correct. Yeah, exactly. Right yeah. now it is. And then you've got a seventh that's a grad transfer already there, but you're right at six right now. Mm -hmm. All six of us are, you know, pretty talented and we all bring something different that, you know, will help us have success on the court. Now, I know, as you said earlier, you really just kind of started talking to K-State three weeks ago and just signed the other day. So maybe this is too early, but do you already have specific goals for next season? And if not, maybe what kind of things would you start looking at uh, for goals for next year? Uh, I don't really have specific goals yet. I, you know, I'd have to get on campus and, you know, get with the coaches and get with the guys and, you know, see where everyone's head's at. But if I could say, you know, I just want to come in and I just want to help be like one of the best leaders on the team. You know, I want to be one of the strong minded guys on the team and, you know, just make sure we're headed in the right direction all the time, making sure we're always getting better, you know, make sure we're always doing the right thing. And then I just want to have an impact. If I help us win, then I feel like I'm doing the right thing. And, you know, it'll go back to me making sure that I made the right decision coming to K-State. Last thing I have for you today, and I know these are tough off the top of your head. It's not basketball related, but is there anything that you're proud of, whether it's you, your family, that's unique about you to something different than basketball that maybe you feel comfortable letting fans of K-State know about? Uh, I would say I'm proud of the development, my development um, yeah. throughout the years and like a short span of me being, you know, going from a boy to a man. Yeah, I know to a young man and, you know, kind of proud of how far I've came. I would say that. Well, man, I appreciate it. People are going to love watching you talk and listen to you. you. did a fantastic job. I appreciate your time. Like I said, you had to do this twice and that was my fault. So I apologize and really, really appreciate the time. No worries. You know, it's all right. All right. Take care. That was Rudy Williams, Matt Hall of K-State Online. We'll check back later this week with more K-State signees. Man, Rudy, you're awesome, man. Like I,